below grade fours. So what I'm going to do here is walk you through what we expect as teachers when you're completing these area problems. So what we do need is a rectangle in order to solve. So right here, it's a rectangle. We're going to pretend that these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent. And we'll give this a side length of, let's say, mm, six. Let's say side length of three. And for the sake of the problem, we'll say it's centimeters and centimeters. Now, one thing that I noticed a lot of you guys are doing is, yes, you're filling in here centimeters and three centimeters. And for area, you're just calculating the perimeter, which is you add all the sides up together. But we want to find out what's inside. So for that, for area, you only need two of your side lengths. So we know our area formula is equal to length times width. And it's just a fancy L. Now area, we need to substitute. So I have my length, which is my long side. That's just something how I remember it. And I have my width, which is, well, just the other side I'm given. So I have to make my substitution. So area equals length, which is six times, well, my width was three. My area is equal to, I have to keep in track with my units, 18 centimeters since it's area centimeters squared because we know that area is calculated in units squared so let's try another one let's draw a different rectangle over here but i'll keep the same process on the right well, nice tall and skinny one okay so like i said before we know that these two sides will be congruent these two sides will be congruent so that will help us if we're calculating perimeter, but in this case, it's just area. So up here, I'm just gonna call this guy, ooh, let's say you are two meters this time. And over here, this guy will be nine meters. So we know our area formula is length times width. All we have to do is make a substitution. What's our long side? Our long side is our nine. So oh, this is our length, and our width, just our wide side, is 2. Now we remember it's in meters, so we have to remember that for the very end. So 9 times 2 is 18, but what's the unit of measure? Meters, since we're calculating area, it's meters squared. So I hope that helped you guys figure this out a little bit, knowing you need only the one length and one width in order to figure out area.